Hey, what's up, guys? So yesterday I was watching some of my favorite YouTubers. I watched a video by Greg O'Gallagher. He's got a pretty cool channel about muscle building, fat loss, and shit like that. But anyway, I watch mainly just to see what other dudes are doing. Because I learn by watching, you know, and if there's other successful people or people on the come up doing big things, I like to see what they're doing. So I watched Greg's video and uh, he was walking through the neighborhood and there were mansions and shit behind him. It was fucking beautiful. I think he lives in Canada somewhere. So uh, definitely was a, uh, was a wealthy neighborhood he was walking through. So I decided, you know what I'm gonna do today? I'm gonna walk through the fucking trailer hood. Where I walk, where I live. Hey, what's going on, guys? And these are my neighbors right here. So, yeah, I figure I'll walk through my neighborhood too. What the fuck? This is, this is right outside my office. When I look outside my office, there's always a ton of fucking traffic. People on their bikes, homeless people walking like the ones behind me. That's the way to do it. What's going on, big man? So, uh, so I'm following suit with Greg, except there won't be mansions, but there will be trailers that you'll see on our, our beautiful walk in St. Petersburg, Florida. Anyway, uh, funny thing, I just walked outside my office and a dude who actually works right next door rolled down his car window and hollered at me and said, hey, Elliot. And he and I started talking for the past, we spoke for about five, 10 minutes. He told me about how he used to live in Hawaii and he owned a macrobiotic restaurant. His wife was really big into vibrational medicine and, uh, and he watched my videos. And of course he said that I helped him out with fitness and whatnot, but it was, you know, the spiritual aspects, the, the life mastery aspects of my videos that he really enjoyed especially since he and his wife were really into holistic health. And if you watch my videos, really, that's what it's about. If I'm, regardless of what I'm talking about, if I'm talking about fitness, I'm talking about lifestyle, I'm talking about self-mastery, I'm talking about success, money, relationships, I'm talking about holistic health. So he realized that, uh, that I was offering a message about holistic health and he enjoyed my videos. So anyway, it was good to meet him. I don't get to walk out in my neighborhood too often. I don't get to walk around here too often, so maybe I'll meet, maybe I'll bump into some new people, some other people, like our friends back there that were walking with their bags of clothes. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, you can see, you can't really see too good right now. Those are, those are the trailers in my neighborhood. They probably wouldn't be too happy if I put my camera over the fence and showed their homes. But uh, but as we move down, you'll, you'll recognize that we're living in a beautiful neighborhood with all kinds of fascinating people. Maybe we'll have some good conversations with the drug addicts that frequent these blocks, these streets. The prostitutes are cool too. I recognize, I can recognize them because they always turn their heads when a man is in a car, they walk and they walk like this with a switch in their hip, and then they go like this. And they turn and they look at you. These guys in the cars probably think I'm a hooker too. Anyway, I had an intention for this video. I had something I wanted to share with you guys in this video. And I guess I'll continue. I guess I'll do that. When I'm ready. So, my letter today, those of you who read my daily letter, my daily post, which is always in the link down below, ElliotHulse.com. Sign up, read up, absorb, learn, be entertained by my daily posts. And sometimes they're, uh, sometimes they strike a nerve. Sometimes the things I talk about, sometimes the things I write about, uh, touch the butt hurt in some people. But I do that on purpose anyway. I find joy in tickling your funny bone a little bit, getting people upset. Because I think what happens is when we become emotionally invested or we become emotionally disturbed by something, another person, something they say, an image, a picture, whatever the case may be, a song, it's not because of the person, really. It's not the individual or the per or, or the the song or the picture or the words or the idea, the philosophy, 
the religion, these aren't the things that really affect us. These aren't the things that are really stimulating us in a negative way or making us, making us upset. Really what's happening is your own vibration isn't in accordance with that person, place, circumstance, idea, or whatever. So when we become uncomfortable with other people, other ideas, other words, other circumstances, it's because there's something inside us that needs to be recognized, something inside us that we need to check. When you get upset with somebody, check yourself first. Ask yourself, what is it about that individual that is showing me something about myself that I don't like? It's always about you. Take full responsibility and never point fingers. Hopefully you guys can hear me with all the goddamn noise out on this street. Grego Gallagher, your street was nice and fucking quiet, man. Out here in the trailer hood, making a lot of fucking noise. I wonder if these people appreciate me calling their fucking neighborhood the trailer hood. I tell you what, I will fit right in though. So I allow myself to do that. When I first moved down to Florida, I was ready to live in my fucking van. I would have parked my van right, right up in one of these sidewalks, right in one of these lots. And I would have lived there. And I tell you what, I would have probably made friends with the trailer hood people. Because they don't make me uncomfortable. People, ideas, circumstances don't make me uncomfortable. Because when I see them or I hear them or I encounter these vibrations, all I have to do is ask myself, how do I get into accordance with it? How do I vibrate with like resonance? So that we can have a beautiful communication, so that we can understand and appreciate each other. That's how love happens. That's how people, that's how people get along. That's how you eliminate resistance in your life. That's how you eliminate pain and turmoil and fight and uh, hate, racism, jealousy, all that bullshit that most of us deal with. My man in his car. Because we don't allow ourselves to find the resonance within us, to allow ourselves to be in deep, loving communion with one another. It's a fucking choice. Kind of reminded me. Kind of reminded me. Uh, my post today on on my uh, Facebook wall, my email earlier today, and then my the picture of me and Kanye West that I put up on my Facebook wall yesterday, and uh, and some of the people who became heated and upset and how they say butt hurt about my uh, about my post. Reminding me of a version of myself that was a lot like those uninitiated who commented the way they did. It reminded me about when I was maybe about 15, 16 years old and uh, Tupac, the rap artist Tupac was real big back then, but I hated him. I could not stand Tupac. It's not that his music wasn't good, it was his attitude. I didn't like how cocky he seemed. I didn't like how self-confidence and um, braggadocious and what are some of the words that describe someone with, with arrogance but really the self-esteem just seemed like it was way out of proportion with what I thought he was and I got real uncomfortable I couldn't listen to his music when people my friends would have like a Tupac t-shirt on I would look away I would say man fuck Tupac Later on, many years later, I began to realize how my attitude towards Tupac, but then again, my attitude towards anything that, that, that shook me in a negative vibration, it's because of me. And there were parts of me that I was denying, and there were parts of me that I would refuse to acknowledge, there were parts of me that I refused to uh, allow to blossom that made me uncomfortable with the others that were successful and that's another one for a lot of people success why don't you ask yourself you know when you're around successful people how do you feel do you feel angry jealous do you feel like you know one of the things that the uninitiated 
experience when they're around successful people is a sense that uh, you know that individual must be bad or evil or a sellout or a traitor or a hater or something about them that uh, that's bad or wrong. But really, the fact is, the issue is you. The issue is your own ability to reconcile with your own inner king, your own sense of self-worth, your own self-esteem, the Tupac within you, right? That part of you that you're denying, Tupac was also really aggressive in his language sometimes. I mean, you would say some shit like, I fucked your wife. You know, and of course, uh, anybody with a tattoo of two guns on their stomach is an aggressive motherfucker. When you're confronted with that, that type of aggression from another man, how does it make you feel? Do you feel uh, angry towards him? Do you feel like he's disrespectful because of his attitude? Um, either way, how, whatever way you rationalize it, you're allowing yourself to fall out of vibration with that person. And in many, in many instances, many times, it's because you're denying that part of you. You're denying that aggression in you. What part of you, what part of your body, what part of your consciousness, what part of your psychology are you rejecting? Your own, your own aggression? Your own self-esteem? Your own sense of self-worth? Your own kingship? Your own warriorship? The wizard within? I used to deny the wizard within me when I would see people who are very intelligent, and very linear in their thinking. And I would say to myself unconsciously that, well, I'm not as smart as those people. So I'd have a negative vibration about them. I'd have hate towards them. This was an uninitiated, this was an immature version of me. I'm not saying I've got it all figured out right now, but I've discovered a few things and I've got some questions for you. What is it about me that might be making you uncomfortable right now? And what it is about you that you're denying? What part of you are denying? What part of you are you uncomfortable about yourself that makes it so when you see me you get the willies or anybody else it doesn't have to be me it could be Tupac it could be a successful person in your neighborhood it could be anybody or anything it could be the most loving person that everybody loves and just because everybody loves them you hate them what's that all about just check yourself that's all I'm saying I'm not making any judgments I'm trying to shed light on something that the way you feel about other people and circumstances has everything to do with the way you feel about yourself. Done.